Okay, so I'm called to a patient's bedside to do a blood test. I check my laboratory requisition form and determine what blood samples or what blood tubes are required. For hematology, I need a B12 folate and ferritin, an FBC, a coagulation study, and an ESR. For biochemistry, I need TFTs, a SMAC20, CRP, and an iron studies, glucose, and an HbA1c. So I grab all of the tubes that are necessary. I will grab a needle, alcohol swab, cotton wool, a plaster, and a pair of gloves. I'll take this along with the requisition forms to the patient's bedside. Equipment, my requisition forms and my labels, and my alcohol gel that should be at the end of the patient's bedside. So I use some alcohol to cleanse my hands. And put my gloves on. I position the patient's arm so that it's nice and straight and apply my tourniquet. Just make a fist. I palpate the arm to determine which vein I find most suitable. I then cleanse the area with the alcohol and allow that to dry. While that's drying, I prepare my needle. So you take off the protective covering on the bottom, pull down the top, and remove the lid. Now while anchoring the vein, at about a 30 degree angle, I puncture, little pinch. You can see the flash in the top of the needle. Now I have the patient relax their hand and I relax the tourniquet. And then using the proper order of draw, so coagulation first, then the yellow top bottles. I invert each tube five to eight times to ensure that the additives are mixed properly into the blood. Then the lavender top tubes. the glucose, and finally the ESR, ensuring that the ESR is completely full. I then cover the site with cotton wool and retract the needle, close the safety, and have the patient push down on the cotton wool. Then I discard the needle into the sharps container. Apply a plaster, and then I'll label the tubes by the patient, ensuring that the labels do not go over the top of the bottle or over the bottom of the bottle, but just around the center. And ensuring that I have one tube for every blood test required.